Well, hello and welcome to Launch with Camille channel, a channel that helps female entrepreneurs create wildly successful businesses. Now, today I'm going to be taking you through how to go from zero sales to 1000 sales on Etsy. And that is the milestone that I have actually cleared at the moment. I'm so excited. That was a major goal of mine. So it might be that you're coming on this video today because you've actually started an Etsy shop yourself or you're thinking about starting one or maybe you're halfway through building your Etsy shop, you've already started, and you're actually just not seeing the sales coming in. Well, I can help you. So, I was exactly the same as you. I started with zero sales and I built myself up to a thousand, well, over a thousand sales now, and I'm super excited for this. Oh, and make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more videos on tips and tricks about how to create a wildly successful business. So you've probably come to this video today thinking, okay, I'm not making the sales that I want to make, or maybe you've just started your Etsy store and you're thinking, how do I start this properly? I don't wanna make those mistakes. I don't have time to make those mistakes and I need your help. Well, you've come to the right place. So grab a cup of tea because I'm gonna be taking you through seven top tips to actually get your Etsy store up to 1,000 sales. So my first tip of the day is definitely thinking about your listings. Now, you might think, I need to have 100 listings to start with to be able to be successful on Etsy. That is not the case. You have to have at least one listing available before you can actually open your shop on Etsy. But think about easy ways that you can duplicate your listings but make them slightly different. For example, if you're selling business cards, for example, they might be digital or actually ones that you physically send out, then make sure that you make duplicated versions of these and just switch up the design. You can do this super easy on places like Canva. So I would recommend probably about 10 to 20 eventually. So not doing 20 straight away, but gradually, month by month, week by week, adding to your particular Etsy store. So the reason why I say this is because if someone comes to your Etsy store and they're looking for other particular products, then great, you've actually got more sales for yourself. Not only that, you're actually getting people to your Etsy store and thinking, well, this person is really serious about their business. They've actually got a couple of products here and it's not just one. So they don't just click onto your Etsy store and click right off. So it might sound silly, but people are looking at your Etsy store and they might think, oh, she's not really serious about her business or the product I'm going to receive is not going to be great because she hasn't got a variety. She hasn't got the shop there. So think about that when you're starting to create these products is how can you easily duplicate them but also giving them a different theme as well. Right, now I'm gonna go on to number two. Now, number two is really, really important and something that I did really, really badly at the beginning and is actually your Etsy listings. Look at your Etsy listings. Do you have one picture or two? Maybe you have 10, which is great. I believe it's up to 10 at the moment. Now think about this. If you only have one picture, that customer can't see that many variations of your product. So really go to town with this. Use all of the images that you can on there and even think about the videos. Now, I was quite inventive with my particular video because I thought, how am I gonna show a video about my templates? Well, I decided to create a video to show them what they can do. So for example, what personalizations can they do? How they can ed edit elements and everything. Those simple things will make the audience go, ah, okay, this is how it works. Now on Etsy, if you have a look on there, I'll show you now. So just for an example here, it's showing you many different angles that you can use on your product. So really take that into account when you're thinking about taking the pictures or you're thinking about making those graphics. Also, make it really obvious about how the customer is gonna use this product. For example, if it was a digital product and you're creating templates, like I was saying before, you would actually mock up a phone and how how it actually look on their feed. Now, if it's a physical product, you can also do this so many ways. Look at mock-ups, look at other examples, don't obviously copy them, but think about what's working. Why are they selling on Etsy? Number three is definitely your bio. Now, just like in an Instagram bio, 
this is really, really important. So you're actually telling the customer all about yourself, all about a little bit of your background or why you started your business and why it's important to buy your product. You'll find this in the below section on Etsy at the bottom and people will literally scroll through that because they want to find more about you so then they feel comfortable about buying your product. So really sell yourself. Think about this. And I actually read this in a book. It's brilliant. Making Money in your sleep definitely recommend it i'll pop it down below um, by lucy griffin and she talks about how to actually sell your life as a disney story so thinking about okay your life and you might think oh well i haven't done actually that anything that interesting or you might think okay my business story background is not that interesting paint the picture make it interesting deliver it in that disney form that disney story and make people excited. Spend time taking pictures. Maybe it's a picture of you in your, you know, local surroundings, tell them about that. Maybe it's about your family, tell them a bit about that. And also about your hobbies. They will love that as well. But not only that, take a picture of your office. People love to see backstage pictures. So number four, now this is so, so important. It is SEO, that's right. So you're probably thinking, okay, I don't know what that is. If you do, fantastic. But it's search engine optimization. Now this is everything, all those keywords that actually show up on Google. You want to your product to be showing up on Google and getting those audience in. Okay, so you're thinking about all your keywords. Now, do not worry about this because I am linking down below on particular platforms you can use that actually give you your keywords for you. They do all the research for you and it's there. You've got places like Marmalade and you've also got E-Rank. So make sure you have a look, try out that. I believe they're free trials at the moment. Have a go and you will make sure that you have these amazing keywords. Now, don't just put your keywords in the title, put them in your description and also use them for your tags. It is so important to use all of your tags as well, because if you don't, it goes against you with Etsy. Number five is sale. Doesn't everyone love a sale? So when you go to your high street source and you see a sale, you are dragged in. You're thinking, I'm not going shopping for that top today, but actually it makes you come into the shop and you end up buying. And that's exactly what it happens when it comes to your Etsy store. So think about this, putting on a discount. Okay, that might sound very, very scary, but if you do this, you will get people noticing. Also, it actually helps with actually you being found on Etsy. So what I tend to do is about 25% off offer. At the moment, I've got it as a 75%. So normally you can do that for, I don't know, a quick couple of weeks, or maybe it's a cyber week, or you've got a particular sale that you're doing a summer sale you can go for that. You don't have to do it at 75% or 25%. You can actually go as low as, I think about 10%, maybe even five. So definitely check that out. Now, if you do do a sale, make sure you put it over everything. I'm talking about banner, social media, absolutely everything. So everyone knows about your sale and then you're gaining traffic, which really Etsy loves to see. So number six is all about generating traffic. Think about this. Maybe you have a social media account or you're thinking about open them. That's great. Think about these particular platforms. You've got Instagram, but not only that, let's have a look at Pinterest. Pinterest is so beautiful and you can put so many posts out there per day and really think about your graphics and also bringing in your customers through things like blogs and everything. Now, if you're getting overwhelmed, do not worry. Just go simply with starting on Instagram and getting people in. Now, if you don't want to be on social media at all, I would definitely go to Pinterest. They are wonderful. You can go on there. It's a search engine optimization as well. So you're more likely to actually pop on in places like Google. Now, this can actually make your account go boom. So make sure that you head over to Pinterest and just even start up an account. You'll be surprised of how many click throughs you get on that platform. Now, Etsy absolutely love to have traffic sent to their platform. Of 
course they do. They want more traffic. So make sure that you're sending it there all the time. It might be something simple like videos on reels. Now they are really popular with Instagram at the moment. Do a reel, make it fun. Think about how you can sell your product or actually, you know, get to those pain points of your customer and create those videos for them. Also on Instagram, which is great, you can actually put your items for sale and drive the traffic to your Etsy store. So number six, super, super important, keep driving that traffic and send them from social media to Etsy store. That's a big thumbs up. Now number seven is Etsy ads. Now, maybe you don't want to do this or you're a little bit scared about starting it. Then maybe think about this. You can actually start by doing $2 a day on Etsy ads. This doesn't just help you with obviously boosting your product so you're on top of your competition, but it also helps you when you're trying to find out your keywords. It will start to populate which one of your listings is the most popular so you can actually spend a little bit more money on that one. So you can find out what's selling, what do the customers want, what's the conversion rate, and then you can actually start about thinking about, okay, am I going to up to my Etsy ads? Um, to get even more traction in, or maybe you're thinking, I'm just going to use it as an SEO tool and just to try and get my first couple of sales in. Now, once you start getting those sales and get up to 100, you will see the difference. But I definitely recommend using Etsy ads if you want to and feel comfortable, just a couple of dollars a day. You don't have to be crazy and do $50 a day. I wouldn't say go there if you've only got a couple of items in your store. Just start off slow and then eventually build it up if you want to. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was really helpful for you. Do not panic. I have got so much more of this, of where it came from, in my amazing course, which is Launch Your Digital Product. So now it's only at $47 at the moment, and that's going to be there until the end of June, and then the price goes up. So make sure you grab that. That is also in the link below. I also have a free masterclass, so grab that, um, where you'll be able to find out more about a passive income if you want to learn more about digital products. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me, and see you next